in the United Kingdom, we have a similar situation where a teacher, Kevin Lister, um, refused to use the gender identity of a student uh, who, for the purpose of the conversation, is known as Pupil A. And Pupil A wanted to be referred to as a male, although Pupil A was born female. And the teacher refused to do so. He joins me on the line, Kevin Lister. Good afternoon to you. So student A sent me um, a message on Teams. So it was a short sort of two line message saying, uh, I would like to be known as her new name. Um, can you change the one note um, to reflect that? So I did. So I expected to hear something like, you know, we're going to do a proper safeguarding investigation. We'll have a safeguarding strategy meeting and so, and so on and so forth. But what they said is the college strategy is not to tell the parents. Wow. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. What I've learned from, from this awful experience is that we now put the Equality Act above safeguarding in our schools. So a student can now basically come along and say, you know, I think I'm, 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 a, I'm, I'm, I'm transgender because the school's been um, indoctrinating them. They become that, that person. They instantly have protected characteristic status. On the 19th of um, December, they put me on the barb list. So I'm basically on the same level as Ian Huntley and, oh, and all gosh. the other Peter Powers and, and, and murders. So I can never teach again. This is a massive social experiment, a massive social and medical experiment, the likes of which we have never seen before. You know, this experiment that we come along, we, we, you know, we convince young children that they can be of the opposite sex. A girl can be a boy, a boy can be, can be a girl. In the Kira Bell case, the judgment was clear that this is an experiment. There is no medical evidence at all to back it up or support it.